Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3 and what might be the very last episode of the Ashes of Ariandel DLC. And we're moving on to whatever's in this little field in the depths of the painting. I'm curious what it is. I have no idea. Let's find out. Composure required ahead. All right. I wonder why. I mean, it's obviously... This is probably a boss fight. There was a nice little drop. One-way drop. Point of no return. Okay, one person and a wolf. Well, so much for the wolf. Oh. Okay. Well, I've dealt with the wolves before, so they're not... Wow. Oh, what? You can block... Okay. All right. I... What? Okay, this is weird. I don't know why you're allowed to block while rolling, but fine. Attacking. But I don't know how to deal with you. Ow. Okay, seriously, you're getting on my nerves. You too. Aha! Basically, see, there's a reason I'm two-handing. And that is the reason. Because then it makes it easier for me to get you out of that block stance. Oh, ah, the stamina missed the thing. And another repost and another stab. Always good stabs. Okay. What? Wow, you'd think after beating Ariandel, I'd have had an- er, Ariandel, what am I saying? Actually, come to think of it. That was Sister Frida. Oh, right, Father Ariandel. I was like, no, I was half right. I was half right. Father Ariandel. But after beating Sister Frida, you'd think I would have a better handle on dodging, but nope. Nope, I suck as much as ever. All right, but at least I know what to do. Which is, go two-handed, and... Do the thing that breaks shields. Simple enough. And then worry about the wolf when it comes up. But yeah, otherwise, not a big deal. So I wonder if I should go to the other sword for the wolves. Like, they're gonna come at me first. Nope, no point. Aw, oh, that sucks. I was hoping I could, I could one-shot them at some somehow. Come on, you. Die. Yeah. Ah. Oh yeah, I don't have the ember health. Crap! All right. What? Why am I not? Come on, you. Oops. Okay, this might take a few tries. Also, I'm out of stamina. Why am I out of stamina? All right, fine. Be that way, and... And... Stabity! Okay, this is probably when the Great Wolf comes up. I'm guessing it's a health-based thing. Yeah, it's a health-based thing. What? Why did that... I'm holding the button. Okay. Now we're dealing with Sif all over again, and you're going for magic. Oops. Forgot about you. Wow, that was close. Ah! Okay, so we're doing Monster Hunter fights. That's fine, I've been playing Generations for the last few months. Or however long it's been out for. All right, one on one. Here we go. Sif Mark II. I can take you. I'll have you. Eat fuck. Well, or not. Okay, that was a mistake. I didn't use my Monster Hunter skills. 
I've got monster under skills. It's like finding a guy, a guy Chris, actually, like, if you think of it. There's a lot of similarities. And move set and. Ah! I made the same mistake. I'll figure it out soon enough. But yeah, seriously, this actually does follow the Gygris moveset. It's really bizarre. Ow. Play the same charge, the same... The same hip check. Man, why must you be so far away when you do that? Alright. Fine, I'll just shoot you to death. Okay. Ow. Ow. Ah. Shoot. Come on, breathe your... There we go. Thank you for the ice breath. Ow. I probably should go in deep protection now that I think about it. Ah. Oh, come on! I was too early! Alright, I got this. I got this. Though seriously, that moveset, anyone who's played Monster Hunter 3 or Monster Hunter Generations, it's like, that is straight up Legai. It's a faster Legaikris, but it's a Legai. I've been fighting Legaikris for the last two fights, and yeah, it's the thing I do on the on the train to work. I, I play Monster Hunter on the train to work. It passes the time, and I find it relaxing. It's like an easier Dark Souls. And no, Dark Souls is not the only game I ever play, as I'm sure most everyone knows who watches my channel, but yeah. I'm kind of used to that moveset. Which is why I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't do it in one go. I was so close, too. All right. Yeah, I think this is time for death montage. So I will shut up.
See, I, I figured it wouldn't be that hard. I don't know why I didn't do the first time. But man, the champion gave Grave Tender. Holy crap, that guy's hard. Like the wolf. Fine, whatever. Like I said, I kind of had practice fighting monsters like that recently. In, I mean, in a different combat system, but not that different. And I think that's it. Pretty sure that's the DLC. So, huh. Wow. All right, then. There might be some other areas I'm not aware of, but as far as I know... Oh, actually, there was one bit, now that I think about it, where that wolf came up. And that, I'm not sure how that's supposed to go. Like right near the beginning, right very near the beginning. The wolf's off to the side. So that would be the thing to check out. I am going to just invest a bit more into Titanite scale markets, because those are pretty good markets. So I'll be back when I get to that second Grave Tender Great Wolf. Assuming they're not the same one and I haven't just opened up the path automatically. Okay, what's this? Burn Champion's Bones. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I actually made a mistake before. I forgot to read it at the Soul of Ariandel. My mistake. My apologies. Anyway, what is there? Right, so... Finite Sales... Oh, where was it? There were two things I just picked up. There was a Champion's Ashes, and there was... Wait, are these Ash? What's here? No, no, no. Rubbish. Here it is. Champion's Bones. Oh! Burn a Fire Link Shrine to unlock Undead Matches. The charred but warm bones of a champion burn at the Firelink Shrine bonfire to participate in undead matches. Long ago, an undead declared a fight. A fight to celebrate their undeaths and to preserve what remained of their souls. So it was that the undead matches were born. The merit of an undead is measured in deaths. Could there be a greater gift for such a creature than a fight that has no end? Alright, what else do we have here? Now, I should probably cash these in. I know where the where the Pyromancer and Sorcerer are, because I found them with my other character, but I haven't actually gotten around to getting them on this character. Don't really care that much for this character. Oh, and the Valor Heart. It is a special straight sword. Weapon once wielded by the Champion of the Undead Match, a special paired set consisting of a broad sword and lion shield. The Champion fought on without rest until he lost his mind. In the end, only his page and a lone wolf stayed at his side. Skill is Lion Stance. While in stance, use normal attack to thrust forward with shield up and strong attack to execute a shield bash with a lion's roar. Which makes sense because that's what was going on. Alright, good to know. It's also a shield, so forget it. Wait, no, I... Well... Huh. Let's try that again. First off, burn Champion's Bones, because why not? What happens if I burn Champion's Bones? Okay, what's Undead Match? Oh, cool. Okay. Duel. One-on-one -on -one fight until... Oh. Two-player brawl. Oh, I see. The difference is which one has... Okay, that makes sense. Duel does not have Estus Flask at all. Two-player brawl has some Estus Flask. Have a duel. All right, let's try this thing out. I have low hopes, but we'll see what happens. All right, where is my bow gesture? Oof. <sighs> Picked a bad time to attack, my friend. Is it best two to three? It's it's not. Oh. So maybe best two to three or best three to five. 
Well, at any rate, that... That was interesting. That is definitely the way that this character does PvP. Most kills within the time limit. Oh, let's try this one out, too. We gotta just try this stuff. I mean, at least a couple of different formats, and then... They'll move on to the whole Grave Tender Great Wolf thing I was talking about before. Although, honestly... I don't know what there's much point. I mean, just... There isn't... I mean, okay, I'll realize there have been dual areas in every single Dark Souls game up to this point. So... I mean, it's not a big deal. But I don't think there's ever been one that actually allowed for anything greater than 1v1. Like, not this Smash Bros. stuff. I mean, this is cool, although I don't think anyone's actually gonna do it. I think everyone's doing duels. Alright, let's just not bother then. Let's try the four-player brawl. Cancel. I don't think six-player brawl is gonna get a lot of people. Co-op match. Huh. Oh, I see. So you can just join a brawl, and it's like, whatever, we'll join you with something. I don't expect a lot of people are going to be doing brawls. I makes sense. This isn't really a game that supports that super well. But it'd be cool. I'd like to see that. Hmm. Okay, I'm not confident. What about if I join a co-op match? <laughs> yeah, the... Oh, this is amusing. I mean, if I wanted to play a 2v2 or 3v3 pseudo-fighting game, I would just play Battle Right. I don't know why I'm wasting... I don't know why I'm spending my time doing it in Dark Souls, but why not? Let's give it a shot, see what happens. Oh! Holy sh... Oh, it just occurred to me what I should do. I mean, I can't do this for a while, but... My other character is based off of Jade from Battle Right. So... That would actually work, because that would also be a character that would work in a situation where... It's team-based, because... Oh, we're all on the same team. My mistake. Like, it's team-based there. Ah! Well! Yeah. Oops. Yeah, team-based situation would actually probably work all right. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is cool. So, looks like... Man, Salvo's... Oh, Salvo's got the Priscilla's... Oh, the Priscilla's the Alfreda's thing. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Crap. Don't want to move much further. But this is pretty cool. No, it's a nice little bit of fun. Oh, shoot. I'm getting hit from behind, too. That was a close call. Oh no! Oh! Salvo, you just got saved! You lucky little sorcerer, you. Someone on our team should probably go deal with that guy. Where's Salvo? Salvo must die! Or Cannon can die too. No, Salvo must die. There we go. I got a kill! Yeah! Whoa. Yeah, this is this is neat. I think the brawl format actually works pretty well for this. Oh. Let's let them spawn. Especially given that things like crossbow builds and such aren't completely defeated by rolling, because the person has to be mindful of a bunch of different things that could happen. But it also means things like Wrath of the Gods strategies aren't just broken, overpowered. Ah, crap. Ah, I let myself run out of stamina. But yeah, that's not broken, overpowered, because if you do a Wrath of the Gods strategy, you'll end up just getting hit and surrounded on all sides. Although, you know what? Let's give it a shot. See what happens if I do. 
Oh, oh, I didn't realize that. I just noticed. It probably Wrath of the Gods if you're too close to someone spawning. Yep, that's exactly what happens. Okay, cool. Okay, let's not bother with that. I like that that's how it works, though. It's a good idea to prevent spawn camping. Ooh, almost parried me. Thank you, Heat Tank. So yeah, eat your heart out, WoW Arena. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is actually like the same idea, except with a combat system that's not just hitting buttons. I'm not sure how to feel about this. I, I, I genuinely think this is cool. Like, the duel is nice, but this feels like something... Like, it feels like this feels like a market that's not been as well tapped as it could be. Or maybe I'm just missing something. But I mean, the only other game I can think of offhand is Battle Right, or WoW Arena, which is what BLC and Battle Right are based off of. Mind you, I never played WoW Arena because I never played WoW, but still. Oh! That was my mistake. But see what I mean? It's like, a lot of it is just, oh, I was not able to roll, but there's a universal defensive mechanic in rolling and blocking. And I mean, I'm playing... I should actually be a bit further away. So I can do things like that. When someone's actually roll... Ow. Yeah, range is not super powerful here. As I mentioned before, the best way to fight a pure... Or fight with range is to fight with redundant ranged weapons. So, how long does this last for? Is this like first to score or something? Oh, first to 15. All right, that seems like the case. Hey. Well, okay. <laughs> I go for a bow, you go for a backstab. We have our, or we have our ways and our attitudes. Cool, so yeah. Team-based ma duels are fun, team-based matches are fun, brawls are inconclusive. But yeah, this, I could actually, this, this is not a bad game for that, to be honest. For team, like for duels, I think it's fine. I mean, I mentioned before, I still think a game like Blade Symphony is a better design, like it's a more focused game for dueling. But Dark Souls is still fine for that. But 2v2 and 3v3 in this case, like, that, that provides some interesting ideas of how to approach things. And it's like, I stand by my earlier statement. Eat your heart out, WoW Arena. Like, it's like, if someone liked WoW Arena, but they wanted to have something a bit more mechanical, but they don't like the way that, say, Bloodline Champions and Battle Right do the top-down thing, or don't like the cooldown based system at all, well... Just beat the Grave Tender Great Wolf, and you have yourself a multiplayer system. Like, a, a, comp a competing multiplayer system in a way. This is... That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm audibly excited about it. This is really cool. I didn't expect it to be quite that fun, but yeah, team-based team -based Dark Souls is interesting. Also, the netcode seemed to be pretty... handling it pretty well, which I'm glad to see, because everyone knows Dark Souls netcode has been dodgy at times in the past. Anyway, I will come back to you when I get to wherever the wolf is, presumably. No. All right, you guys have spears. What am I doing? Smack... Oh. Seriously? And one time? No.
Okay, where's the big guy? I know he's around here somewhere. Okay, I assume he's around here somewhere. Oh! Oh. Oh, so beating the boss just gets rid of it. Very well, then. A little disappointing. I was hoping I'd actually be able to kill it again, but whatever. It wasn't that hard of a fight. That part of the fight. Yes, I know I died against it, but I died more against the champion Gravetender. Actually, what am I dealing with here? One of you Viking boys. Over here! So, I actually noticed this reference before, but ah, crap! Let's not make Skyrim references while I'm getting killed, shall we? But yeah, big Viking-like guy in the middle of a snowy field, shouting to get more powerful. I see what you did there, FromSoft. It took me a while, but I eventually saw what you did there. Mostly because I've never played Skyrim myself. But yes, I see your I see your digs at Skyrim. I see you're basically using Dovahkin as a standard enemy in the Ashes of Ariel DLC. Granted, that might actually be more of a tribute because those things are serious business. So I don't know. What else we got here? Oh, is this another fight that you'd fight the wolf in if you hadn't beaten the wolf already in the other boss fight? Or is it just a gorgeous view? Homeward Bone! That seems like a hint. Although, admittedly, the entire theme of this DLC has been turned back now. So, whatever. Alright, you're done. Now get stabbed! Oh, you're not dead yet. Okay. Now you're dead. Good job dying. So, there's a tower in the distance. I'm guessing that's my goal. I'm also well aware that there's another one of these Viking nudes. Another one of these walking Skyrim references. Another two of them, apparently. All right. Oh, there's the other guy. I was looking for you. Let's bring them over to the gorgeous view. Oh, you don't have a shield. Oh, I see. I see how you work. Oh, what? Oh! Okay, that makes sense. There were a lot of things, and I did not pay attention to all of them, and I probably missed a bonfire now that I think about it. Oh. Hmm. Run! To the tower! Possibly there's a bonfire in there. Maybe that'll be a way of not having to run back again. Hopefully, because it looks like there's some stuff to explore in here. Oh. Ow. Whoa! How did I survive that? Just barely, that's how! Onwards and upwards. Maybe there's something up here that's... Oh, there's a ladder. So long, suckers! You can't climb ladders! I think. I actually haven't confirmed that. No, it would appear that climbing ladders is beyond their skill set. Alright. But there's another one up here.
Oh crap. Well, that didn't go well. Run back's not so bad, but that didn't go well. Willis can't climb ladders, right? Willis gonna kill itself slowly if it does that. Ah, I caught their attention. Shoot. Oh, I got their shield. Not that I care, since, as mentioned before, we're not using shields in this run. Twinkling. Not what I was going for. Huh. Is there anything of any real value in here besides just people to kill? Well, there's that. Nope. Not happening. Not that way, at least. Oh, I want to trigger their jump. Ah, oh, something to get them down. The Ow! If I could trick the pathfinding into falling down there. Is there a way across? I think I have to go this way. Ah, crap! Nope, nope, nope. I'm dead. Goodbye, cruel world. Again. <sighs> Jumping is hard. And their X. Huh. And all three-ish of my souls. Oh, hey. There's more. What's up here? Is that this gonna be a big deal boss fight thing? No, no, but it's something. It is the Captain's Ashes. Well, that was mildly underwhelming. Any sign of a bonfire? Looks like no. Well, that was underwhelming. But it's fine. Actually, what is down there? Oh! Yes, perfect. Where is it? Illusory wall ahead. That would be just cruel. You go swinging and then fly right off. I mean, this is a gorgeous view. I'm not lying. But it's in a little bit of a difficult to reach spot. So, be curious to see. I mean, granted, people are going to go there anyway because there's an item there. But I'll be curious to see how many people actually rate that message. Anyhow, that is... I think it. Like, it, it. So... See you in the next DLC! That, yeah. We did it! It's done!